Good guys, Malcolm here, and today we're gonna be looking at Restricted Disappearance 0618-1922 MP4. What the f is that name? Okay, also, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat today, the hair, you know, I'll, I'll show you. Nah, you know what? No. <laughs> you know what? Just no. <laughs> Basically, this is based off Poppy Playtime. It has something to do with Huggy Wuggy. As you can see here, right here, we've got a picture of him. Leave. So I'm thinking it's actually gonna be outside. Let's check this out. Alright, so we're starting off with the old VHS format. Okay, we're in a car. We've got eyes on 1170. He's uh, heading south along the utility vehicle route. What exactly do we do here? Um, okay, give us a sec. We're gonna try to cut him off at the crossing up ahead. Keep him from getting onto public roads. Keep tailing him for now and keep us updated. Oh, 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 10.27 p.m., 6, 8. 1892 experiment 1170 access the facility for an open delivery bay door in the production wing two staff members witnessed the incident and hit the emergency alarm so i know in poppy playtime i'm pretty sure the monsters have they're called experiments they have numbers coded to each one don't know what 1170 is but i'm taking it it's gonna be huggy right so we got cam four four i don't want my glasses on I, I don't know if that's blurry or just this my sight i don't know oh yeah it's huggy okay holy <laughs> look at him like a four-year-old child 10 30 p.m all available security staff and vehicles are mustered and begin to pursuit of 1170 oh, by this time 1170 has estimated have traveled to half a mile from the facility okay so they're actually going after him so did he escape like the poppy playtime facility we see him. Brace all right did he say brace yourself yeah i'd be bracing myself as well if i was going up against this Whoa! shots that was fast he just quickly like, 1038 three team attempts to block the surround block and surround 1170 at railroad crossing these rounds are tranquilizer darts are fired and 1170 is hit once in the left leg 1170 manages to flee into the wood the security team splits into small groups and continues after 1170 but yeah that's stupid i don't know why they would split up okay is he gonna run at the camera again no? Oh, there he is. Look at him. It's like a f noodle. 10.50 a.m. Uh, p.m. The search area expands over four square miles extending into nearby residential areas. Mad. Okay. Outside the effective range of security teams, radio becomes unreliable. Okay. Oh. Is that a deer? He killed a whole deer? He's on smoke! Okay. Ooh. Ooh! Blurred as well. During the search, several staff are killed by 1170. Even more go missing. Is this actually related to anything with Poppy Playtime? Or is this just a tape made for fun? Because if it is related to maybe like Chapter 3 or something, that would be really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Okay. So these are all the victims. Wait, six missing? So they didn't find six of them? Just five were dead. Maybe he ate them. Okay, you just hear a massive scream. It takes nearly four hours to relocate and sedate 1170. So they got him, right? They got him then? Sedate? Is that what sedate means? I forgot. Uh, how 1170 was able to access the ventilation system without securities is only blind luck that we found him before somebody else did and it cost us lives. Did he go off on like a rampage? And because obviously we know something happened to the toys, right? They they went crazy. Obviously, as we see mommy, but like they got experimented on and everything. They kind of had their reasons. Why did Huggy... So, so they knew Huggy went crazy and then did they continue to let the kids come into like the facility and everything? Or is this when like the facility was shut down? So how 1170 was able to access the ventilation system. so we know he could in chapter one he could go for the ventilation and chase us so that makes sense how he's able to get for the ventilation system yeah because they're like they're confused how he got through and we know from chapter one when we're running and huggy falls down that big bear belt 
into like literally the abyss we literally know he can run through the vents because i remember even saying when he was chasing us i was like how the hell is he in the vents because it made no sense because how tall he is but and then we got a house oh that's freaky <laughs> that's freaky so did they get him back because he's just chilling there that doesn't look like he's back in the facility he's beside a house but anyways guys if you guys didn't just video you know what to do drop a like on it subscribe and turn on notification bells to get my next upload soon as i upload and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one take care